Hello viewers, I just wanted to put together a quick video that might help some people out. So uh, this repair is replacing the motor mount on the driver's side, uh, the rear of the engine. This is the one that I just replaced from the car. Uh, so it's all sagged. This piece of rubber at the top would have met, or at least it did on the new mount. So this is pretty sagged. Um, I guess it's original to the car, who knows, but in, in any at any rate it's uh, in tough shape. So I decided to put a new one in. So I checked the shop manual and there was nothing in there for it. I looked on YouTube, couldn't find anything, couldn't really find anything looking online. So I, I did actually do the repair, so this isn't really a how-to video, but it's it should be a good overview. Um, I'm not really set up to film repairs yet, but at any rate, let's take a look. This is one of those jobs where the repair is one thing, but getting to what actually needs to be repaired is another thing. So if you're not following along with the project, uh, I do have some things out of this car, like the fuel distributor is out right now. Um, on the top side of the engine here, before we go underneath, there's a couple things you'll need to remove. So the oil filter would have to be removed. Now this car's been sitting for a while, so the filter was pretty well seized on. So I just went ahead and took off the, the part that the oil filter mounts to. So I'll have to get a new gasket for that. Another thing that's kind of in the way is this oil um, fill tube and dipstick. It is plastic, and I'll show you then later, but you kind of have to push it out of the way to get the bolt into the motor mount. So on the top side, see if I can move the light here a little bit. Oop. On the top side, there's one bolt that goes through, and that's a 17 millimeter head. So for this one, I just loosen it up, and then there is there is, it, it does bolt into the mount, this brass piece on top, brass looking piece. So there's no loose bolt that'll fall down in behind, but then that bolt sleeves through the mount itself. Uh, so up here, just the oil filter, and then the dipstick kind of has to be moved out of the way. But I loosened up this bolt, but didn't remove it, and then went down uh, kind of below the, the mount. So this is, this is where the difficult to get to part begins. So. I have pretty much everything out from this wheel well, uh, the tie rod end, both ball joints, I'm replacing the CV axle, uh, the rotor, the hub is getting a new uh, bearing, so this is all out of the way already. So this is kind of what you'd have to do if you weren't already doing it. So again, you can see why I'm doing this now while everything's apart, because uh, this is all emptied out. But if you look up inside the drive tunnel, and again, we'll try to position the light. But you can see right there, if I can get the camera to focus, so you can see here there are two uh, 13 millimeter nuts. So I loosened those up and then put a jack at the back of the transmission here. And I went to this post right on the back, right below the, the, um, the drain plug. And with all the bolts loosened up, I gently lifted up the engine. And of course, the, um, the studs lifted up through with the bolts removed. And then up top, um, I, I was able to slide this bolt out, again, past the oil fill tube. And this mount turns, so what's facing up here to the front uh, almost has to turn around this way, and then it should lift almost up and straight out. And then you kind of have to wiggle it out through you know, this area right here. So it's a little bit tight, but it does work. And then installation is the reverse of removal. So Again, just turn the mount around, thread the bolt through it, bending the, the fill tube a little bit, and then I lined up the posts with the holes and slowly lowered the engine. And then once it was lined up, I tightened all the bolts up and we're good to go. So that's the mount done. Of course, there's a lot more yet to put back together. As far as taking everything else apart, um, there are videos that show that and there's uh, descriptions in the manual, so I won't make a video on that just yet. I might want to get to the other side, but uh, there is at least information out there for that. So hopefully this helps. I'd love to do the repair. I'm not quite set up yet to, um, to film those sorts of things, but we're working on it. So hopefully this helps. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please consider subscribing. Thanks.